Sylvan Adams, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. Lovely to be here. It, it, it clearly requires capital um, and a lot of determination, but also a lot of, I would imagine, uh, influence uh, and a lot of charm, which you obviously have. But how the hell do you do it? Bringing the match tonight all the way to Tel Aviv on what seems to be such short notice and without even French fans being here for the event. So look, it was quite easy to convince uh, the French League uh, to bring their Super Cup here. Um, they haven't played a game in front of fans this entire season, and Israel is a little bit ahead of the curve uh, on the corona, on, of the Corona curve. So uh, here we will uh, be playing in front of, I understand, 26,000 fans at Bloomfield, and. Uh, and uh, for the first time, the players will be playing in front of fans. And they, they actually expressed quite a bit of delight in, uh, in, a, in their ability to play in front of fans for the first time since this whole crisis uh, began. After this pandemic, they would even do for Israeli fans. <laughs> listen, listen it's, it's, good, it's good to have... Uh, by the way, when you say Israeli fans, my understanding is there's about 70% of the tickets sold have been purchased by... French expats, so Israeli uh, uh, Frenchmen who are coming to, to watch the, the teams that they support. But really, how do you do it? When, how do you do it and, and why do you do it? I mean, I just listed uh, so many achievements uh, throughout the, the last few years here in Israel, uh, major contributions to, to Israeli sports and also to what is called sports diplomacy uh, by now. Uh, a, a, a field that you're leading, I would say, in Israel. So let's, let's tackle the why. Um, that's because that's much easier. Uh, when I moved to Israel, I had new business cards printed uh, with a title that reads self-appointed ambassador at large for Israel. And uh, my belief is, and, and this is confirmed by first time visitors, all first time visitors to Israel, which is that we are misunderstood. So I, I host a lot of first time visitors and um, and I ask them, you know, aren't you surprised by, oh, I don't ask them. They tell me spontaneously how, how surprised they are that the Israel that they, that they encounter is so, is so different um, than, than, than what the media has, has uh, portrayed. So um, my idea is to do these big projects, and we will be seen in 143 countries, this Super Cup tonight, and the Giro was watched by a billion television viewers. My idea is to have, you know, a billion or several hundred million uh, at a time, uh, first-time visitors to Israel and change their impression because they, they be, they're being fed a monochromatic um, uh, perspective on Israel, which at the end of the day has very little to do with our daily life. And when I moved here, you know, I decided this is, this is what I'm going to dedicate my life to doing and showing our, our best face, our true face, and, uh, and also, um, you know, we do so, I, I'm involved in quite a number of other projects. Um, there's something called Save a Child's Heart, you know, practicing tikkun olam, our ancient Jewish imperative, and, and really uh, showing the greatness and the goodness of Israel uh, all over the world. And this French Cup, frankly, is a, um, is a gift to the people of Israel who have long suffered through, you know, the corona crisis for the last couple of years. And uh, good, come and enjoy a, a, a beautiful soccer match, the top championship game uh, of the French League, and I'm very proud to do it. Now, this is happening uh, tonight in Tel Aviv at Bloomfield uh, Stadium. Um, what, did you consider doing it uh, in Jerusalem, or was the experience with the Giro d'Italia too political? Recently, we heard Beitar Jerusalem saying that they try to have a match with FC Barcelona in Jerusalem, but it was too complicated, it was just too charged. So with respect to the Giro, uh, on the contrary, uh, I insisted that we have one full day in the national capital. So we showed the whole country. We started, in, uh, we, 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 uh, we started with one full day in Jerusalem and showing off our magnificent national capital, of which we are very proud, our ancient and beautiful national capital. And then we ended up going from Haifa all the way to Eilat. So the, the world saw our entire country. Our whole country is on show. 
And uh, for me, um, I don't see uh, Jerusalem as in the least uh, controversial. Uh, but sometimes we do things in Jerusalem. Sometimes we do things in Tel Aviv. I hope to do uh, maybe bring a match to Beersheba to, to allow the citizens of the South to also get, have, have some fun and, and experience uh, some, some of the... But, you know, uh, there, there are financial considerations, and, and, um, and uh, this was Tel Aviv's turn. And an Israeli uh, a gymnast won a gold medal today at the Olympics yes. in Tokyo. An so, incredible achievement. So proud. So proud. The second uh, ever. Uh, looking at the Israeli uh, sportsmen and sports uh, women uh, in the Tokyo Olympics, how do you feel about their achievements and about what the state is doing to support them? So we have now won 11 cumulative medals in our history. And that's not enough. Um, and I believe I have a formula for us to be able to win 10 or 11 medals in each Olympic cycle. A formula? Yes. Um, so the reason, one of the reasons that our uh, gymnast won today is, you know, he only made Aliyah about five years ago. So he was, uh, he was trained in the uh, Russian system and, uh, and came with that training and obviously had, had talent, uh, but he came with that structure that infrastructure, uh, and and, and uh, as a result, he, he already had a higher departure point from the other athletes. So I think what we're missing here is not great athletes. We have, fant we, we win in everything that we do, okay? We win in agriculture, we win in high tech, we win in defense. You know, anything that we put our minds to, uh, Israelis are winners. My idea is, and if we take judo, we have a guy, my friend, Moshe Ponti, who has taken on the judo, he's put judo on his back, and because of Ponti's efforts, he secures financing, he secures uh, training, he, he brings the best coaches, he, he has the best, you know, he's bringing the athletes all of the best techniques, and of course, uh, we have my science institute that I, uh, that I uh, funded at uh, Tel Aviv University, um, and so we are doing the science of sport so we can apply uh, the best scientific practices. So. If we take uh, Ponte's um, um, or, uh, organization or, or structure, and if we apply that to all, to all 29 Olympic sports, I think that's easy. So some of, some of the people can be, um, can donate philanthropically, but I, I, think we need a, I think we need a captain or a godfather for each of the 29 sports, and I think we will see success, and I'm, I'm, I'm predicting not necessarily in Paris, but maybe the following Olympic cycle that we could win as many as 10 or 11 medals in a single Olympics. Okay. Sylvan Adams, thank you very much for coming into the studio. Yeah, I would spend many more minutes discussing uh, how, how billionaires are taking the space perhaps of where the state should be putting in more budgets. Uh, into sports, I won't argue. I won't argue that concept. I think the, 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 that Maybe our government, should. our government should be putting in a little bit more. I can tell you what we did for tourism, uh, the Israel Startup Nation. We just came back from the Tour de France. What we are doing for tourism, the Giro between 2018 and 2019, uh, the Giro was in 2018. Uh, Israel had the highest growth in the world of tourism. So I think this stuff works. We're showing our good face. It's good for us strategically. It's the antidote to BDS, showing, showing how Israelis truly live and how we truly are. And we're getting people to come and visit our country. So uh, I, I, it's a win-win-win, and uh, it pays for itself. So I think the government should invest more. Yes, I agree. Sylvan Adams, a pleasure speaking to you today. Thank you very much uh, for coming into our studio. Thank you for having me. For your great contributions. Much appreciated. To Israel.